Hello everyone, welcome on my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you Angular. Uh, actually ASP.NET Core Web API uh, as a backend I will use and the front end I am uh, going to use as a um, Angular. So uh, just a brief introduction how to use bootstrap in Angular. So first of all uh, add a new directory in your desktop and that is the tute and after that uh, just run your command that is cd and the path where your directory exists there is and uh, after that you have to create a new project in the angular like that ng new and the um, project name okay so the project name is tutes okay so after that uh, asking me some question about cli do you want to enforce stricter type and checking and stricter bundle yes i want to check a stricter and would you like to add uh, angular routing yes uh, and the css uh, i will uh, i'm going to select it uh, as a style sheet so installing package npm and after a few minutes you will see your code will run on your visual studio on on your visual studio code so wait for some times and uh, after getting your code on your uh, Visual Studio code. So it's taking time to update some packages and create some files uh, in your directory. So installing packages, yeah, git is not recognized as an internal or external command. So git is not actually initialized at here, but uh, you can just use code space dot and open your code in your Visual Studio. But uh, you can see that uh, it's a, not a root file. So first of all, enter into the root file that is tutes. And after that, you can use code space dot. And that is cd tutes and after that code space dot and you will see that your code will uh, open in your uh, visual studio code and here we go we have a src folder and under the src folder you can create a new folder like student and first of all open powershell terminal and here we go for uh, npm install bootstrap uh, space dot dot save after running that command you will uh, install bootstrap into your directory load extensions refresh packages okay that's fine found 10 vulnerabilities too low and for moderate and for high okay now after that you will see your uh, bootstrap package uh, and update your angular.json file instead of package.json file so first of all open angular.json file and here we go we have a style tag uh, style attribute uh, inside your uh, folder here we have under the root section uh, you uh, you have two style there is uh, one style sheet and in the above section you have another styles so select which one that is select uh, that is the first style you want to select it okay and here uh, here we go for add a bootstrap path where your bootstrap installed so node underscore module and under the node uh, node modules we have a bootstrap uh, folder okay under the bootstrap you will see another uh, folder that is dist 
and under the dist you find another things you have that is CSS and under the CSS you have bootstrap so the file is bootstrap.css so select which one is mini uh, minified uh, css that is bootstrap.min.css so let's take an example of bootstrap first of all navbar so here uh, we go for add a new component that is student component so first of all add a new terminal and uh, after that you have to add a new folder under the web uh, under the app directory uh, the folder name is student students and uh, here we go for how to create a new component under the students directory so this is first of all navigate to the students directory uh, cd and uh, src cd app cd students okay and here we go for add a new uh, component by using ng gc and the component name that is the list student and here we go for adding a new students okay now students have a list of students uh, component is there so similarly you can add a new component uh, for the navigation bar so add a new directory under the app section that is the nav bar and here we have uh, four uh, files that is css html specs.ts is for the testing purpose and ts for the typescript file now after that you have to add a new folder that is navbar top oops not uh, directory name is not top that is navbar and under the navbar you have to create a new component that is top nav so first of all navigate to the directory by using direct you can assign the uh, path that is src app and navbar and after that you have to apply uh, component uh, command that is nggc and uh, the component name is top nav and here we go okay top nav component.css top nav dot component dot html top nav component dot specs dot .ts. similarly we have four files now after that you have uh, you can see your app dot component dot html file have some tag so just remove it and your top navigation uh, selector just copy and paste into your uh, app component dot html file and in the top nav component dot html file you have to add some navigation so search, search bootstrap navbar and select navigation and which one is select okay that's fine it's a simple navigation bar so select it and paste it here okay that's fine now after that you have to run your uh, project as well and you will see your navigation bar will correctly shown under your browser so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and angular series thank you very much for watching